We are starting this tutorial with an empty After Effects project because there are some important settings to understand when importing layered Photoshop and layered Illustrator files. We'll be importing a layered Illustrator file, but the process will be exactly the same for importing a layered Photoshop document. Let's double click in the empty space of the project panel to open the Import File dialog. Go ahead and navigate to the Assets folder, which is saved right next to your project files in the Work with Compositions folder. If you don't have these files, you can feel free to follow along with your own layered Photoshop or layered Illustrator files. Once you're in the Assets folder, click once on the Owl Preserve Illustrator file and then go down to the Import As options and click on the drop down menu. Choose Composition Retain Layer Sizes. I'll explain what that means in a second, but for now, with that option selected, go ahead and click the Import button to import the file and automatically create a composition. If we look in the project panel with that composition selected, the duration is 10 seconds. After Effects will choose the duration based on the last composition you created, so your composition settings may not be the same as mine. If you ever need to change your composition settings, just remember you can select the composition in the project panel and press Ctrl K on Windows or Command K on the Mac to open the composition settings. Then you can change the duration and click OK. I'm going to leave mine set at 10 seconds. Let's double click on the composition in the project panel to open the timeline and the preview in the composition panel. If we look in the timeline, you'll notice there are many layers that make up this graphic. I'm going to hover over the top of the timeline till I get the double arrows and drag up until I can see all nine layers that make the composition. Now let's create a very straightforward animation. I want the owl to fade into the scene and then the text to fade underneath of it. Let's hover over the text in the composition panel and click once and you notice when that layer is selected, I have control handles that are right around the edges of that layer. The handles only stay close like this when you choose the retain layer sizes option on import. Without that option, the layer handles for every layer will automatically be the same as the edges of the composition, which can sometimes make animation quite challenging. Now with my text layer selected, which is layer eight, Let's click on that and drag it to the top of the layer hierarchy in the timeline. Since all the text is on one layer, it's going to be very straightforward to create animation with this layer. Press T to open the opacity settings. Now we'll animate this in a quick second. I want to animate the appearance of the owl all at once. And if you notice, there are many different layers that make up this owl. And if you're not sure what part of the owl a layer contains, you can go ahead and toggle the layer visibility off and on. Now, rather than adding keyframes for all these layers, let's go ahead and duplicate the green layer and fade that over top of the owl. So go down to the bottom of the timeline and select layer nine. Press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on the Mac to duplicate the layer. Click on the new duplicate layer and drag it up just below our top layer. So now it inhabits layer two. Press T to open the opacity settings for that layer. Since the current time indicator is already at frame zero, all I have to do is click on the stopwatch for the opacity, and now I've set my first keyframe. I'll move my current time indicator down to one second at the timeline, and then I'll change the opacity setting from 100 to zero. And you notice if we scrub the current time indicator, it appears as though the owl is fading into the scene when in fact we're actually just fading out the green layer that's above it. Use the navigational arrows to position yourself on the second keyframe. And let's trim the start of the owl preserve layer by hovering over the left edge and clicking and dragging. Just make sure to hold shift after you start to drag and that'll snap the endpoint to the current time indicator. Since we want the words to fade in, let's change the opacity setting from 100 to zero, and then click on the stopwatch to create our first keyframe. To move one second down the timeline, let's click on the time indication and then type plus one zero zero and press enter. And now the current time indicator is one second further down the timeline. Let's change the opacity setting up to 100. And now we have a second keyframe, which of course creates animation. I'll move my current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar to preview the animation. Now, creating your layered graphics in Illustrator or Photoshop can often speed up your motion graphics workflow, since the tools in those applications are custom designed to help you create complex custom shapes and graphics a little more quickly than you could natively in After Effects. And since After Effects will retain layer settings and blend modes, 
it's easy enough to import those elements into After Effects for your final animation.